Before we get into the video, people, I am giving away 11,500 Apex coins every single month. To be in with a chance of winning them, make sure you are subbed to this channel, have that bell notification button ticked, drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Apex Legends video and today I bring you details on a legend for it to be coming to the game. But this information is kind of factual. Information taken from the actual game people and it's kind of looking promising. But before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support you can by hitting that like button. And if you are new around here and enjoy daily Apex Legend videos, be sure to subscribe. Okay guys, so if you've been a sub to my channel, you will already know. I'm down with covering every genuine leak which has some kind of support to back it up. I've covered numerous leaks from certain weapons to new game modes, new ways of playing and even new legends. You will have seen I've even spoke about the legend in question today, but today guys we have further details on a new legend who was data mined a while back but was left at that due to not much else known about it. Until now that is. And a massive thanks to my pal Mad Life Crisis for bringing this information to my attention. A fellow Apex YouTuber who enjoys covering a good leak or two. His channel can be found linked within the video description if you do want to check him out and show him some love. So brought to my attention was a newspaper found within the opening cinematic to Apex Legends. This newspaper nobody really had taken any interest in. But it does behold some super interesting information. But before we get into the newspaper people, let's first recap on everything we know about Watson so far via the datamined game files. So firstly, we saw datamined files for Legends, two names stood out who were not then in the game. Octane, who we do know a little bit of information about due to leaks, and there's also Watson. Other files we saw datamined were those that suggested possibly one of this Legends abilities. We see information stating Tesla Trap and so forth. And we see this game file or these game files all over the place, including within the audio files for this new legend Watson. Where also you can see files you'd expect to see to a new legend, i.e. sound files for different in-game scenarios like running on different environments, etc, etc. So there are files in the game files for this Watson legend. But I have covered all of that information in the past. Why make a new video on it? Well people, I believe we have found more details on who this legend might actually be and it comes from that newspaper article seen in the opening cinematic to the game. <laughs> so, you think you've got what it takes? They call us Apex Legends. Shut up. Now within the cinematic, it's really hard to make out what most of it says, but thanks to the Flying Teacup, whose channel can be found linked within the video description, this has been cleared up and we can make out what it actually says. Now within this video, during the cinematic, you'd question if it's even possible to make out what's said, but I've seen the 4K video of this thing and to be honest, most of it's quite easy to make out, but you won't see that here in the 1080p version. But yeah, the Flying Teacup has cleared this newspaper up and shared it with the world, and we can see the interesting part of it on screen now. So right here it states, Registration for the game's 124th season began early last week and an unprecedented number of new competitors have already signed up to become the Atlans celebrated Apex champion. In a video released Frontier Wide last Friday, the syndicate's prime director of public relations, Jacob Young, teased what's coming next month. The Apex Games has recovered record-breaking 60% more registration for next season over the last season, stated Young. When asked specifically about any new competitor, Young, this part I believe was unreadable, but it just go on to say, of the biggest shocks, most of us here at the games have known Natalie since she took her first steps. I suspect she will be playing a much different game than other legends. Paquette is the daughter of the game's lead electrical engineer, the late Luke Paquette. So Natalie Paquette is the daughter to electrical engineer Luke Paquette. So it's starting to make some kind of sense now. So how does this or she tie into Watson? So besides obviously your dad being that electrical engineer and the fact it states she will be coming and playing a role in Apex Legends which we see within this newspaper article. This Watson seen by data mine files is using an ability called a Tesla trap and we all know that Nikolai Tesla was also an electrical engineer. But beyond that there are a few weapons in the game that if we take a look at this energy rifle the Havoc for instance 
when we apply the quantum chaos legendary skin, interesting, quantum chaos, quantum physics, quantum mechanics, these in relation to an electrical engineer are vital if said electrical engineer works on designing photonic devices. Now, what's a photonic device you might be wondering? Well, a simple Google search will tell you the following. This can include laser diodes, light emitting diodes, solar and photovoltaic cells, displays and optical amplifiers. Other examples are devices for modulating a beam of light and for combining and separating beams of light of different wavelengths. And what do we see within this energy weapons body? A pretty blue beam of what could be any of the above said nodes if you are interested in both uh, photonic devices and are also an electronical engineer. Now we have an electronical engineer within a core law of Apex Legends, Luke Paquette. Is he making weapons which behold his life's work and intentions? If he was, surely he'd stamp them with a cold name of something of interest to him, maybe even his company name, which we don't know. But look, people, what do we see at the back of this weapon? We see it states Watson. So Watson has been under all our nodes from the very start. Could this be the link? And will Natalie Paquette enter the arena under the cold name Watson? Well, people, it seems as though that might indeed be the case here. Now, obviously, this is just me theorizing the whole situation, but it's straight up starting to make sense and add up. And while it clearly states Natalie is on her way to the arena, to the Apex Legends Battle Royale arena, we will have to see people. But Luke Paquette being the father of Natalie Paquette, who's entering the Battle Royale mode as a legend, Luke Paquette being an electronical engineer, Watson, a name tied to many weapons in the game, which are based around energy. If you're an electronic engineer and part of your interest is photonic devices, weapons of such would kind of be an interest of you. And like I said, you'd stamp them with your code name of Watson. And Watson we see in the game files as a new legend coming, has abilities like the Tesla trap, which Tesla, as we all know, was an also an electronic engineer. So there is kind of like a jigsaw here and we're slowly putting the pieces together. And it seems as though we're not far off a full picture right here. Now, if any more information drops on this, obviously guys, I will have you covered right here on my channel as I usually do. So if you are new around here and this is what you like to see, make sure you subscribe. But on that note, guys, we have come to the end of the video. Let me know what you think about all of this down below within that comments section. And on that note, I'm going to love you and leave you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, it really does help out. If you're new around here and this is what you like to see, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.